Welcome to the Cattleman's Corner. I'm Brian Hale, sitting in for the late Howard Hale, as we continue his legacy of speaking with cattlemen and women from around the globe. Calving ease is an important factor many cattlemen consider when selecting a herd size. Getting more calves live on the ground is the first step to getting more pounds of calf weaned per cow exposed and also equates to more potential for future profit. The Gelvy and Balancer breed has lowered birth weights and increased calving ease to meet demands of today's beef industry. Visit gelvy.org. Today we explore how Nick Jorgensen from Jorgensen Land and Cattle Company uses virtual fencing in their operation. How these work is the caller has a little radio that, that talks with the base station. And so the base station in this instance is about two and a half miles north, sitting up on a hill. So that transmits data back and forth to the tower. The tower then has a cellular connection, sends all the data to the cloud, where we can then access it here in a browser. Really, really neat technology. And one of the things that it enables is GPS tracking. So as you watch this map kind of move, basically what you're seeing is how that group of cows grazed over the last seven days. And the heat map obviously means they spent more time in the area where it's red and less time where it's green and blue. So neat feature, but that's not the only reason we have those fence collars on these animals. If you see this yellow line here, that's a GPS fence. There's no physical thing there for them to see with their eyes. So it really, it's phenomenal technology in that it enabled us to take a pasture like this and basically implement rotational grazing without the traditional poly wire, you know, moving cattle every day. Let's say at 2 p.m. this afternoon, this fence turns off and a new one turns on. We can do it all without actually having to physically intervene with the animal. Nick Jorgensen, Jorgensen Land and Cattle Company. That's going to do it for today. Thanks again for listening and may God bless. I'm Brian Hale.